everyone. Welcome back to The List. After housing a string of nightclubs over the past decade, a Brookside spot is turning to corporate retail. Erin Christie says Urban Outfitters grand opening is all the talk around Tulsa. At number one, Urban Outfitters. The kitschy corporation that also brought us anthropology and geared toward the hipster in you is ready to open Thursday. To celebrate, UO published a guide to everything awesome in T-Town, including the regulars, Kane's Ballroom, and the Philbrook Museum, but also more obscure spots like the new East Village Bohemian Pizza and Studio Souls Mural. Urban Outfitters grand opening party Thursday from 6 to 8. At number two, gardening fair. Now's your chance to finally start planting those backyard vegetables and herbs you've always wanted with the Tulsa Garden Center's Info Fair. It seems odd to be thinking about gardening when there's snow on the ground. You know what? Gardeners pretty much do all year long. The experienced green thumb may be interested in Karen Watkins' talk on sustainable gardening, but the fair is really designed for first timers. Containers are great because you can bring them in when it gets really, really cold, like, you know, with all of our frost and stuff, because they'd break these down because these are all going to be edible. The Info Fair, 9 to 3 Saturday. And number three, Miss Senior Oklahoma. I am so tickled. Residents at Forest Hills nominated Marquita Feltz to represent them at this year's pageant. The TU grad is an accomplished piano player, originally from Sand Springs. I got to know Patty Page way back when. But no talent competition here. This is just an opportunity to honor women in every stage of life. I just am glad to represent the, the home here. Is there a swimsuit competition? Oh, I hope not. <laughs> You are funny. <laughs> now you are caught up and clued in. You have to cry when you win. Oh, oh. I can't believe this is happening. Around Tulsa.